At the Euro 2020 competition, there aren't many teams that are more exciting than Belgium. In this video, we're going to take a closer look at the Belgium squad formations and tactical analysis and we'll see which players and tactics makes them so exciting. One of the teams that are touted to win the competition outright. So let's start with the head coach. Roberto Martinez is a coach most famous for spells coaching Swansea City, Wigan Athletic and Everton. He started the revolution at Swansea that saw him play some of the smoothest passing football in the Premier League. With comparatively little resources compared to other teams and constantly having to sell his best players every summer, Martinez would routinely have Wigan going on long winning runs full of fabulous football to ensure that their survival every year. The only time they did get relegated from the English Premier League was because their focus was winning the FA Cup. And guess what? That's exactly what they did. They won the FA Cup that season at the expense of getting relegated. When he moved to Everton, Roberto Martinez had developed a fantastic relationship with Romelu Lukaku, greatly expanding the Belgian skill set and turning him into a genuinely top class forward. His style of play has drawn attention and admiration from high places, including Barcelona themselves. However, he remains committed to Belgium and has led them to the top of the FIFA World Rankings where they have been since 2018. Now at Euro 2020, Martinez will be looking to translate that into a trophy. So let's look at the Belgium squad. Starting with the goalkeeper. Thibaut Courtois has been great between the posts and gets acknowledged on a regular basis. He was the bedrock of one of the best defenses in Europe. He was rarely beaten and would frequently make wonderful saves to keep Real Madrid in games. We have to admit that Courtois is one of the most absolute best players in his position and very vital to the Real Madrid team as well as to Belgium. He will be a permanent starter in the Belgium Euro 2020 lineup. Belgium also have a very capable backup goalkeeper in Simon Mignolet. Let's look at the central defenders. Jan Vertonghen has been one of the best centre backs in Europe for quite a while now and his partnership with Toby Alderweireld has been excellent. And they've managed to cut out incredibly successful professional football careers at Ajax, Spurs and Belgium despite being attached at the hip. Vertonghen relies on his brute strength and presence of mind quite a bit. Alderweireld on the other hand is the obvious choice on the right side of central defence. The third central defensive position could go to De Jason Denier or Timothy Castan. Former Celtic defender Jason Denier will form part of the Belgian Euro squad. He's had a memorable loan spell with the Hops, forming an outstanding partnership with Virgil van Dijk. That saw the club win the league and the cup double. Castan, on the other hand, has lifted the FA Cup during his first full season with Leicester City, but the former Atalanta fullback has also earned many individual plaudits in 2020 and 2021, making 32 appearances in all competitions for the football club. Let's see which one of these will get the nod ahead of the other in the Belgium Euro lineup. Turning our attention to central midfield. Alex Witzel underwent an operation on his Achilles tendon in January and resumed running a few weeks ago, leaving his availability for the Euro 2020 competition in, in a bit of a doubt. Yannick Carrasco, he has also played a huge role in Atletico Madrid's title charge in La Liga and has been one of the most important players in the last season. 
it was highly likely that Carrasco would take up one of the central midfield positions for Belgium. Yuri Tillmans has been a dominant midfielder in the last season as well and he could make a really strong claim for one of the two pivot spots as he is responsible for moving the ball forward to the key playmakers. He can also be deployed at right wing in Belgium's Euro lineup. So it'll be interesting to see how Tillmans is used by Roberto Martinez in the upcoming tournament. Leander de Donker. Of late, he has featured a lot more prominently in the Wolves' side. After a slow start to life in the Premier League, he has been a mainstay in the Wolves team, which also plays a back three similar to the one Martinez has deployed. It's highly likely that Carrasco and Tillmans would start in central midfield and De Donker could be used as backup for defense and midfield. The wingbacks. Thomas Munier has been used as a wingback by Roberto Martinez in recent months and will get a spot in the starting lineup for sure. He's been fine at defending and Dortmund's form has dropped considerably when he has been out with injury. He has looked very impressive in possession, providing some decent crosses as well as helping out the attackers going forward. Torgen Hazard Hazard has had his own share of injury struggles this season and he's missed about 12 or 13 games in qualifying with a muscle problem. Hazard, however, has been very important for Dortmund, scoring four goals in the 2020-2021 campaign. Along with his 33 international caps, specifically his recent performances for Belgium have proved very important. And this show how vital a player he is in the 3-4-2-1 formation. And now turning our attention to the most exciting players in the Belgium squad, the attacking forwards. Eden Hazard's role in the Belgium Euro 2020 squad has been under quite a, quite a bit of scrutiny, but the 30-year-old has had another year of struggles at Real Madrid. But there's absolutely no doubt that he is one of the best players in the world. Even after a season of poor performances, his place at the Belgium Euro 2020 competition is pretty much confirmed. Kevin De Bruyne has had himself another quality season and will have to continue his fine form if Belgium are to be glorious this summer. He can use his creative skill set to influence the game and link up with Lukaku and that will make for brilliant viewing. The Manchester City playmaker is one of the best players at Euro 2020 and Belgium will no doubt look towards him to provide the assists. Romelu Lukaku has been terrific for Serie A champions Inter Milan with his goals and assists this season. Lukaku has always been bristling with talent, but moving to Inter Milan has seen him explode like never before. At 28, he's in the prime of his career and with the likes of Kevin De Bruyne at his back, he could well fire the Belgians all the way to winning the competition. You could even make a case for Lukaku having a good shot at the Golden Boot this year. Not only do Belgium have a strong set of starting 11, they also have a very strong bench. Players that have done well for clubs in the past season. Players like Jeremy Doku are exciting talents, whereas Dries Martins, Leandro Trossard have had great seasons with their respective clubs. As cover for the forwards, they also have Christian Benteke and Michi Bacuayi as cover. Martinez has been incredibly consistent in his use of the 3-4-2-1 when he has been Belgium coach. And you can see why. Looking at the squad presented to him, where he has had an abundance of good centre-backs and one good full-back only, he has to go with a back three to maximize his assets. Courtois keeps goal, obviously, and ahead of him would be Alderweireld, Vertonghen, and Denier, who will. Yuri Tielmans has become such a dominant midfielder that he has to be one of the two pivot spots, and he will be responsible for moving the ball forward to the key playmakers. While veteran Alex Witzel will offer more defensive energy and screening. In Witzel's absence, however, Yanni Carrasco could be the chosen person to partner Yuri Tielmans in central midfield. Out wide, the wingbacks are responsible for the side's width in both attack and defense, and these spots are usually filled by Munier and Thorgan Hazard. 
Just ahead of Tielmans are the two playmakers who play out of the half space and are given license to roam. They are given license to do pretty much whatever they want, moving from a number 10 position to a flanking position as well. That creates a lot of space and danger. Kevin De Bruyne and Eden Hazard will most definitely start every game in these two positions. In case any of them have any injury woes, Dries Mertens may have to step in. Lukaku will lead the line up front, showing the full repertoire of his skills that has seen him take the Serie A by storm. The number 9 naturally excels at making runs off the ball and he'll be at the end of many many passes that Hazard and De Bruyne put his way. In conclusion, Belgium are among the favourites for Euro 2020 and when you look at their form over the last few years, you can totally see why. They've lost just four times since Martinez was appointed in 2016 and with a sublime squad absolutely overflowing with goal power and defensive solidity, it's difficult to see someone stopping them at Euro 2020. Though they play one formation, they can beat you in so many different ways. And if they can get Eden Hazard into some kind of form and Kevin De Bruyne to continue his consistent performances, then they'll have the continent's most outstanding talent available to them. But even without Hazard, Belgium are quite dangerous and probably destined for Euro 2020 glory.